Welcome back to Library Tracy to channel. In today's class, we'll be learning how to make this cow calf tan. It's a very simple and beginner friendly tutorial because we only have seam at the center front here. It does not have any seam at the side or the back part. And we have this cow effect draping at the side. If this is what you like to learn, kindly stay tuned to the end of this tutorial. Thank you. Okay, so to make this cow calf tan, I'll be using this lacquer fabric it's onion in color and it's around four yards of fabric so it's a bit white so it may not the camera may not be able to carry everything at once so i'll be explaining what i'm doing with the paper first okay so i'll be explaining the folding with this paper this caftan will be folded in a way that it's not going to be having any seams on the sides and also on the back the only seam that we'll be having is going to be at the center front and I'll fold it into two first okay so I'm going to be cutting the front and back together so the first thing I'm going to be doing is folding it into two by the number of years remember this fabric is, is quite long it's around 65 it's by 65 so I will not be folding into two by 65 I'm going to be folding by the four yards. So by the time I fold this into two like this, remember four yards become two yards on fold. Okay, so after folding it into two now, I'm going to be folding it in bias form also. From this closed edge, okay, from the closed edge, I'm just going to be folding it over like this in bias form, just like this. Okay, so now I'm going to be checking my length. The length you are working with is the length from your from the back of your neck to your desired sleeve. Remember, we are cutting the sleeve and everything together. So you're going to be taking your measurement from the center back all the way to where you want your your booboo to stop. Maybe on your elbow, on your three-quarter sleeve, on your wrist, anywhere you want it to stop. You're going to be taking that measurement so let's say the measurement you're working with is around because this is a miniature this is actually small so let's say everything falls around nine inches so you're going to be checking that while folding your fabric over so once i have my nine inches i'm going to be marking that now using a straight line okay so i'll have my straight line like this and then the next thing i'll measure is where i want the gown to be so it can be your full length, it can be your knee length, it can be anywhere you want it to be. So for this, because it's not long, let's say my full length, I want my full length to be around 20 inches. Let me shift this. I want it to be around 20 inches, so I'll be marking 20 inches from the top part like this. And then I'm going to be marking the 20 inches and then make it into a straight line. So this is going to be my, this. so this is my center back, closed. Remember I said you're not going to have anything. And this here is going to be my center front. So let me just cut this now so that it becomes smaller. So here now what I need, this is going to be my shoulder. Here, this is going to be the other part. So when cutting this, make sure you don't cut your center back with it. Okay. And this is the M line. Okay. So this is all the pattern that I need. So let me just label the center back, center back. This is the center front. And this also is the center front. This is our shoulder. So here, you take your neckline measurement. So the neckline you're working with, it can be two inches. Let me just say two inches by maybe one inch for the front. And two inches by maybe six inches for the back. And then... You can another thing you can do is to sew your sew your center front before you take your before you take your neckline measurements okay so to sew my center front remember it's going to be like this okay so this is our center front that we're going to be joining together and this is going to be the center back that is not going to be having any seam line so you can actually have your neckline like this okay so this neckline is going to be like this for the center front you can you can shape your neckline after cutting it out or you shape it 
when you still have them together like this so this is going to be the center front neckline okay so i can do two by six in v shape and then this is going to be the center back and i can do two by maybe one or two inches like this so you cut your or you can just place them on each other like this so that you have something accurate so this is going to be for my center back let me just trim it off like this and then for my center front i'm going to be having like a v shape okay so that's all the cutting that we need to do and then we'll be shaping the down part also so on the down part here on the center front you go up by maybe 10 20 or how up you want it to be and then from that measurement that you take you slant it to the center back remember the front has like an open slit for easy working because the 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 gun is actually designed in a way that it just tapers to the down part so now this is what you're going to be having once you finish okay this is what you'll be having you're going to be sewing it you're going to be taking your Op uh, your sleeve opening measurement so you can open your sleeve by maybe six inches but this is small so i'll be using two inches so this from here which means you're going to be sewing your neckline just like this and you stop here to open to bring out your sleeve so that your fabric can drop down and drape for you so the same thing you stop your mesh your sewing here and then this here is what you're going to be using to drop your sleeve okay this is the neckline this is the front which you're going to be sewing together you can add buttons or slip to it if you want it open and this is going to be the back and it's going to be having the seam just in front there's not going to be any seam on the side and also on the back so now we we'll move to the fabric i hope you understand it well so we are cutting on fabric now and just like we folded it on the paper I folded the fabric into two using my yard so now we have two yards on two that's two for front two at the back that's four yards in total and the fold points here just like I explained that's what you will use to fold this on bias so I'm just going to take one end like this and then fold it in like a triangular form on bias so I'm going to be folding it over like this then after folding it over I'll check my length the length I'm working with from my neck, from my mid neck to my sleeve, I want it to stop around here. So I'm working with a length of 25 inches from the center back to where I want it to stop. So now I'll check the 25 inches here to see if I have enough. So I have around 25 and and half, which is enough for my allowance. Okay, so I have this now. And then the next thing is for me to rule a straight line on the upper part there okay so if i rule my straight line here from that straight line i'll be taking my gown length measurement i hope you can see this okay so this is my starting point now i'm ruling a straight line on that part and i have my measurement from my center from my neck from my center neck the center back to where I want the sleeve to stop so now from here I'm going to be taking my measurements downwards so I'm using a it, it can be on your knee length it can be on your full length so I'm using a full length of 58 inches so from here now I'll be measuring 58 inches plus one inch seam allowance and that is going to give me 59 inches so from this upper part here I'm going to be measuring 59 inches downwards okay so it's quite big that's why i did it on the paper first okay so i've gone ahead to cut it so when you're cutting it you make sure that you leave like half inch here or this is the back and this is the front so just cut and leave like half inch remember we're going to be joining the front together so you need that half inch seam allowance so that you'll not be having any shortage so this is the down part you will see that it tapers towards the down so it's slimmer on the down part but don't worry we're still going to be having a cut there so it makes it easier to work and this is it on the front part so this is our shoulder area so the next thing i'm going to do now is to cut out my neckline so depending on how wide you want your neckline to be i'll be working with a neckline of three inches width and for the back i'll be using around one inch in depth and for the front 
I'm going to be using around 8 or 9 inches because I'm not going to be adding a zipper to this. So you can actually add zipper or buttons to the front part if you want. But I'm not going to be adding anything to it. So it means my neckline should be wide enough for the edge to pass through it. So now I'm going to be cutting my back neckline and then my front. So now I've cut out the back neckline. You can see the back is 3 inches by 1 inch. And this is the front. I just folded it like this and then I shaped out the front. The front is also 3 inches by 9 inches. So now I have this. Before I do anything else, the first thing I'm going to be doing is to sew my front together. And to do this, I'm going to be taking it like this and then sew with the half inch allowance that I left. So now I'm take this to the sewing machine now and then run a stitch through the front part so that it will be together for me then I can further my shaping. So before I go, I just want to explain our sleeve opening to us. Remember this is the, the upper part which is the shoulder part. So now you need to determine uh, how big you want your opening to be. That's where your sleeve will come out from. So it can actually be around 7 inches or 6 inches or whatever. So I think I'll be using 6 and a half inches. And it's going to be on the shoulder area, on this upper part here. That's where you take your sleeve opening. So that by the time you put in your sleeve here, your fabric will just drop and form your curls like that for you. So now from this upper, no, uh, from this other hand, yeah, not from the center part, from this other end, I'll take my tape now and measure six and a half inches. So which is here. So after measuring my six and a half inches, you're going to be notching it. So you take your scissors and then notch it there on both front and back. So when you have your notches like that, that is where you sew. So it means when you're sewing your shoulder, you sew from your neck part all the way to where this six and a half inches stops and then your sleeve your hand can come out from this open part that you believe in so now i'll take this to the machine now and join the center front together then bring it back to continue the so i've gone ahead to sew the center front and i use the black thread so i hope you can see my seam line from there so now the next thing i'm going to do now is to open it up so that my center front will be on the center front and my center back will be on the center back so the neckline that I've cut is going to guide me. I just need to match the neckline together. Okay, so this is the center back. And on top of it is the center front. So this is my neckline here, which is what I'm matching together now. So to sew the neckline, I'll take this to the sewing machine now. I then sew from my neck point here all the way to the six and a half inches where I want my arm to come out from. So I'm going to be sewing from the neckline and then stop where my notch is so that my hand can come out from this small hole here so i'll do the same thing on this other side also i'll sew from the neck all the way here so let me explain this with my pattern so this is what i'm trying to say remember it's supposed it's supposed to be like this when we open it up which is what i have done so now i'll take it to the machine now and then sew from this neck point all the way to this place and then the sleeve is going to come out from here and when you're sewing remember that you have to sew on the wrong side of the fabric so this is my seam line this is the wrong side of the fabric so i'll take it to the machine now and then sew it okay so i'm going to have to sew it now and like i said i stopped my sewing around here so that the ham can come out from here so to knit this up now you need to serge all these rough edges and then you're going to be turning this with the same allowance that you have you use it to turn it neatly inside so that it will be neatly finished so i did that on both sides the next thing i'm going to do now is to shape remember you can see how the shape is looking like now it's broad on the upper part and it just narrows down like that so that it will be easy to work for the person wearing this i'll take it together this is the center front and this is the center back so on this center front from the m line here I'm going to be measuring like 18 inches upwards. It can be lower, it can be higher, depending on what you want. So from here, I measure 18 inches upwards, which is what I did here when I was explaining on the paper. So which is what I did. I just put it together. This is the center front and this is the center back. On the center front, I went up and then from there, I'm going to be connecting it to the center back. You can use a straight format or you can just make it slightly curved like I am doing. Then I'll take my scissors now and I'm going to cut that. So with this now, the wearer is going to be able to wear it and move comfortably because of this sleeve. 
So now after cutting it out now, we take it to the machine and also turn it in. So now let me just open it so that we will see what that is looking like. So you can see the effect that we have in front. Okay. So this is what the front is looking like now. I'm just going to take it to the mannequin so that we will see what we have. So for the neckline, you can either turn it with a bias or a facing. The facing is actually better. So to cut your facing, you just need to take your fabric together like this. So this is the front part and this is the back. You are just going to place it on another fabric, trace it out and then cut out your facing. So your facing, you will take your front and back together. Like this. That is after you must have seen it. I have not done this so it's kind of a bit difficult for me to turn. So you just shape it half now and then use it to cut out your facing and use it to turn out your fabric. So now let me turn this to the right side. And then I'm going to take it to the mannequin so that we will see what this is looking like. So this is our boo boo dress. You can see the neckline, and like I said, we only have seam at the center front here. So this is the opening that we created for easy passage at the center front, and this is the side. So you can see the drapes that we have on the side is because we opened the sleeve at the upper part so the other ones just falls and form this cow effects for us so this is the back this is our back now and as you can see the back also does not have any seam so it's simple to make and it is also beginner friendly because you don't need to do much to get this i hope you enjoyed this tutorial if you enjoyed it let us know in the comment section like and subscribe to our channel if you haven't and i'll see you in the next one bye